Welcome back, everybody. This is uh, Jake with MyBringBack.com, and uh, today we're going to go through the third tutorial in the basics of creating a website. Now, if you haven't taken a look at uh, the past two videos, definitely check it out. We've got uh, goals and ideas for a website, and also domain names, where to, where to look for domain names, also some ideas, and then uh, making sure that your name or your brand that you're developing is going to be applicable on all the social media, all that stuff. So check out the past two videos, take a look at those. Now after you have kind of developed that domain name and have a goal and idea of where you need to be with your website, you got to host it somewhere. And a hosting service is basically a, I don't want to say it, but it's a cloud service, it's in the air where people can access anywhere. It's what uh, holds all the files for your website. Now, before you select a web host, you know, consider what your website is about, and then also make sure that you find a service that meets your needs. You know, if you go out and you want an apple and somebody gives you an orange, uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't work that way. You gotta you gotta make sure that what you're gonna what you're looking for is what the company is gonna give you, and so. What I would advise you first is make sure you get a good start on your development plan for your site. Develop you know, where you want to be, what you want to do with your site. Is it going to be e-commerce? Is it going to be a blog? Is it going to be a forum? All those types of things have to be somewhat in place before deciding to go to the next step of choosing a web hosting platform. Um, some of the other things, and I'm just going to throw out some random questions because it'll get you thinking about what you need to look for when you're looking at the web host, um, West web ho hosting platforms. You know, one of the big things is do they offer technical support? That's huge. When if you got a problem, are they going to be able to respond to you in timely, timely fashion? Do they have backup systems in place? If basically, if they lose something, are you going to lose it as well? Um, Hosting uh, more than one domain, that's another big question. Do you want multiple multiple domain names out there to be found on the internet? Of course, or maybe you just want one. That's fine as well. What about email accounts or a easy site builder? If you're starting from scratch and you just want to do a quick site, maybe just a billboard type site where you just have one page, uh, do they have something that can help you achieve that? Uh, another big thing is like simple scripts, and I'll show you a little bit later what I mean by those, but make sure you're you're getting the most services out of your web hosting platform within your budget and that's why I want to put you put a goal in front of you guys basically uh, our goal with web hosting is we want to find a provider with the best collection of services within your budget and within your budget I mean less than ten dollars a month there's plenty of them out there for less than ten bucks a month I'm gonna take you to uh, take you to a few a few sites show you a little bit what you're looking at as well as give you a few coupon options at the end um, that you can take a look at, uh, take advantage of as well. And uh, we'll run through that. Now, for 95% of you out there, you're looking to do something, you know, maybe a blog, maybe a hosting uh, forum, something like that. Something pretty simple to a degree. And uh, at the end of this, I'm going to recommend basically top five basic web hosting services that you can take advantage of as well as offer you some coupons so take a look at that at the end alright now Bluehost being one of the top five that I would recommend let's uh, take a look at their website and uh, you can kinda get a feel for what what I'm talking about when you there's things to be weary of but then there's all the things you want to look for to make sure that uh, they provide the services that you're looking for so on the web page, you can see the home page tells you a little bit about the pricing. But then on the left, um, right over here, you can see gives uh, kind of a basic of the features that they provide: unlimited domain hosting, um, free domain. There's a there's a kicker right there. They actually register a domain for you when you purchase a hosting account. So make sure you read the fine prints on that stuff as well. But uh, you know, as you look around their site, you can see very friendly. Um, they're always looks like specialize in customer service but uh, you know more importantly make sure that the features are what you're looking for um, so 24 7 US based support yeah look through the features make sure those are in line with what your websites uh, gonna be providing um, look about the company make sure they're credible don't you know I wouldn't recommend going with a company that's only been up and running for a year 
Um, looks like Bluehost has been a, a member, f uh, been a hosting solution for businesses and individuals since 1996. So you got the credibility behind you because this ultimately is is going to be all your files and your website um, at the disposal of anyone. So you you just don't trust uh, anyone with this stuff. Um, you know, make sure when you're looking at uh, what you want to do, make sure there's solutions like this, uh, one-click script installs from Simple Scripts. Basically, if you want to launch a blog, it, you click WordPress, it's launched, you're ready to go. And so we're going to run through later on how to actually implement this stuff. But uh, as you can see, you know, Bluehost is a credible, credible web hosting solution. Just make sure it's, it's exactly what you need. Um, the other thing that I want to touch base on is the pricing. You always see companies out there, you know, $1.95 for hosting. You're going, what? That's awesome. Or uh, you can see HostGator, another one of the top five that I would recommend. Um, they have three different plans. They have a hatchling, they have a baby, and a business. Hatchling only allows you to have single domains. So you can only have one .com or, or one domain name um, for each hosting account. The baby plan again steps up to unlimited domains similar to the Bluehost we just looked at. Um, but then there's also, you know, different features and benefits for each of these. So you can compare all the hosting plans, etc. But another thing they see is, you know, going back to the pricing thing. When somebody's like, ah, three ninety six for a month, you know, you're like, wow, that's really cheap compared to all the other sites out there if you've looked around any. But uh, make sure it's, you know, the terms you need three years at 396 so basically the terms um, shorten the the longer obviously the cheaper it's gonna be for you per month but you know what if you want to change hosting companies in a year um, there therefore you you forfeit two years of your your hosting thing so I'd only recommend probably going out as you know the most of two years maybe uh, maybe three if, if uh, that's something you're looking at but um, Again, um, pricing all that stuff, make sure the company is credible in what you go for. And uh, the other thing I'd take a look at is uh, simplicity. Make sure that uh, their site's simple. If their site's not simple, you know, you, you're guaranteed that the, the processes that they have for you are not going to be simple. Um, another thing that I, would, that I would take a look at when you're looking at the features of a web hosting platform is what they call a control panel in the control panel is basically the behind the scenes make sure um, that it's gonna be easy is C panel which is uh, the number one used control panel in the world um, you can try the C panel demo again easy site builder take a look at the thing and that's what I mean that's that's what I mean by figure out what your site's gonna do and then go to uh, go and find out you know if the hosting solutions that maybe we recommend or somebody else recommends are gonna be a fit for you and uh, really it just uh, it's a matter of what you want to do and then finding the solution that you're gonna be happy with so as you uh, as you gander down we've got the domain down we've got the web hosting kind of a generic where do we go from here um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to mybringback.com. On the website, we've got our top five recommended hosting, Bluehost being number one, HostGator being number two, and then three other companies below them that uh, I'm sure you guys will find a solution within those. There's also some coupons on the site, and uh, it just gives you a little bit, of, uh, little bit of understanding on where these companies come from, etc., and uh, finding the best hosting solution. So the next tutorials we're going to be looking at, uh, you know, how do we hook the domain that we purchased into the hosting package, as well as uh, uploading a platform, whether it's WordPress, WordPress, whether it's an e-commerce solution, um, and then launching that um, to get your site actually up and going. So pretty excited for the next uh, next video series here. So. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. You'll see uh, you'll see the next videos coming up here, as well as uh, you know, leave some comments if you have any any questions. If you purchased a domain, and you have any questions or a hosting package, feel free to shoot us an email, and we'll help you out with that.